Hello, I'm Ray Luna. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. For today's reading, we're looking into what is next in love? What's coming towards you in love? For group number one, we have a chakra heart. For group number two, we have lapis lazuli heart. And for group number three, we have a selenite heart. So take your time and when you have decided, head to the description and click on the correlating timestamp to receive your reading. And if you like this reading, consider liking the video commenting, subscribing if you haven't yet, and turning on the notification bell so you don't miss any other readings like this. Hello group number one, welcome to your reading. With your cards here, we have the Seven of Cups, the King of Pentacles, the Empress, Six of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. So what I see here is that I feel it is a possibility that some more options in love are opening up for you guys. And it's very interesting because with the King of Pentacles, I feel like this is someone who either tried to pursue you in the past or someone you were in a relationship in the past. But this person represented by the King of Pentacles is someone who was pretending that they were more mature than they actually were. Or this person was lying or being deceitful in some way about their true intentions and as this person left your life as a past relationship or if they were just trying to pursue you and now you're not dealing with this person anymore, I feel like options in love are opening up for you. You're moving away from people or this person who is lying about being more mature. You're moving towards relationships or having more options that are truly the king of pentacles. They are truly mature they're truly someone who is stable. They're not lying about their intentions or who they are, like a previous connection or a previous person who was trying to pursue you. I also feel that you guys in romance with the Empress, you are having more abundant energy in love and maybe you're not accepting things you used to accept. Like maybe you're starting to notice something as a red flag, whereas before you would see whatever this is and think, okay, I'll give this person a chance. Or there's something that you might have been previously missing in romance that now you're able to instantly spot and move away from. So this is making you more like the Empress, more abundant in love, having more options, people willing to do more for you, like how like people in a kingdom would do more for an empress or an emperor, you guys are having this energy of being able to receive more in love. And once again, with the six of cups and the five of pentacles, I pick up on that past energy. So in past connections here, there was that five of pentacles energy of having lack, being left out, or this person being deceitful towards you, lying, not having connections that really resonate with you in the way they should. So even with the crystal you chose, you chose the seven chakra heart. This kind of makes me think of a realignment into being the empress, someone who has options in love, someone who is fully secured in themselves. So like, even if you didn't have a romantic connection, it's like, you're never going to be lacking those options you are someone like whether or not you're in a relationship you are abundant you're confident um if you told people you are single they would be surprised because you have that empress energy of having so much to give in love being a connection people want to be with but that energy previously wasn't matched with you but i do think this is changing with the seven of cups having more options having a true king of pentacles come in, someone who's actually matching your energy and willing to give you what you deserve, none of this lack. So if any of you guys are asking about or wondering about an ex relationship, this relationship will not come true, like it will disappear and not be worthy of pursuing because I do sense a new connection coming in where this person is true. So the past is going to be cleared out in romance for you and there's something better. You don't want this ex to come back. Even if you're watching this and you're thinking, oh, I wish this person would come back. You don't like this 
you don't like what you're hearing, right? Trust me, this X connection for those of you wondering about one, it's truly meant to stay in the past and you're going to be a million, a million times better off without it. There's someone else. So I'm going to put down some more cards and we can get some more insights. Okay, so we have Morgan, Death and Magic. We have the Warrior Archetype card. So what I am seeing here is that there is a death and an end to your past romantic relationship. So like I just said, if you're wondering about any ex or past energy, I think you guys are better off moving away from that because there is someone light years, a thousand times better. I can't stress that enough. Like I don't, I don't even have to sit here and think about the cards. It's just like, yeah, there's someone better. Don't worry about it. <laughs> even if it's hard or you have to grieve that, kind of like, um, like the ending of something, you have to be sad a bit and move away from it. But there's something here um, death talks about a transformation into something better. So you're going to be transforming into a time where your romantic relationships are going to be more magical, more fulfilling, something better. And the warrior, I feel like the person that's coming in is represented by this card. So that means this person's willing to fight for you. They're willing to do things for you. Whereas maybe in your past relationships, like Let's say the person that's pursuing you, you're pursuing them, there's that romantic connection, or even if you've been in a connection in the past where it's like, you know, a couple years or whatever, let's say that person has friends, they would talk behind your back with those friends, but not just venting about something, they're like talking bad about you in front of other people. This new person's not going to do that, they're going to fight for you and respect you when talking to other people. So even if they have friends or family, they're not going to talk to their friends and family saying all this bad stuff about you. They're going to protect you and respect you in a way where it's like you're not going to be talked behind your back. They're going to defend you and make sure you're respected. And if they have a problem, they're going to be someone who has good communication skills and bring the problem to you and ask how you're feeling about things. This person is definitely really mature, emotionally mature. So I feel like the next person coming in, it's going to be a relief for you because I feel like maybe in the past, you could have been dealing with people who are kind of like, like I said, like pretending to be mature, but they're really still kind of babyish or still having like a high school mentality about their romantic relationships when you're someone who's like the empress, more mature, abundant in love. The other people were lacking, but now this person's coming in ready to fight and defend you and respect you in love and be very mature. So if any problems do arise in a relationship, it's going to be easy to fix because you and this person are both energy matching and you're both mature. You're both ready to be in a relationship, unlike this, this previous person or people. They were immature. So now I'm going to put down my last set of cards for you guys and see what else is going to come through. Okay, with these cards, we have the Page of Wands, Seven of Wands, the Wheel, and Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So what I'm sensing too, once again, like with Page of Wands... And seven of wands you're not going to have to fight when you're communicating now um, this next person coming in is going to be very clear direct and i don't want you guys to think when i'm saying clear and direct that this person's just like rude or like blunt to the point it like hurts people's feelings no this person's just gonna know what they want they're going to be clear and direct and it makes communication really easy like whether you're on the phone with this person, you're face to face with them, you're texting, this person's going to be very easy to understand. And I feel like it's like when you're communicating with this person, it's just like, like you can let a breath out. It feels like a relief that this person's not difficult to communicate with. And this makes me think maybe the past connection or connections, people are very aloof and distant and don't make sense. 
Um, but that is changing here with the wheel. This communication is something that's going to be easier, something you don't have to fight and it's not going to be difficult. It's just going to be like, okay, this person is pursuing me and they actually want a relationship, not, you know, being confusing or weird. It's just going to be very direct and clear, making things a lot easier for you guys and actually making the relationship enjoyable. And with codependency, I will say, I feel like any issues you had with someone being codependent, um, I mean, it could be you guys, but I honestly feel like this other person, they were pretending to be more mature. This person was actually codependent and depended on you guys for too much support. Not that you can't support people or anything like that. It's just like this person was asking so much of you because they weren't solving their own problems. Like I said, they're a little bit immature. Not that that can't change, but this person needs a lot of work. Whereas like you're more mature than them. You kind of need someone who has done a little bit more work like you have. So it can actually be an equal relationship. It can be in harmony. Um, not something where, you know, they're on page one, you're on page 10 and something's not adding up. No, um, any people that were in the past that had codependent issues, they were depending on you. I feel like this next person coming in with that warrior energy, if anything, that person wants to do more for you. They want to give to you. I don't feel like this person's codependent. Like, I feel like this person respects your own autonomy. They let you be your own person and you let them be your own person. But it's also a healthy relationship where if you need to come together and do stuff, you need to communicate, that's also going to happen as well. So overall, I'm sensing what's next in love for you guys is someone who is coming in that's mature, they have healthy communication, and they seriously want to pursue a relationship, and they're not going to be codependent. So that was your reading group number one. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. If you did like it, consider liking the video and subscribing if you haven't yet. And I hope I see you guys in the next reading. Bye. Hello, group number two. Welcome to your reading. With your cards here, we have Death, the Chariot, Seven of Swords, King of Wands, and Queen of Wands. So what I'm seeing here is if you're having any challenges with love, romantic relationships, I do sense some of the difficulties or challenges easing up a bit because we have the Death and then the Chariot card. So any endings or things you're struggling with, that's that's coming to an end or things are kind of wrapping up. If something's been on standby, like if you're waiting on communication for so from someone, um, you're going to see if that's going to you know work out or not. Um, but overall, I feel like you're going to overcome any challenges or issues you have with love. Any delays, things are going to start moving forward with the chariot. And I feel like things are going to work out successfully for you guys. So let's say if you do have a communication you're waiting on, even if that ended in a way you didn't like, there's always going to be an option here for you for something better. Like, let's say you were ghosted or something like that. Um, this means you're going to move past that successfully, even if things don't work out initially. There's going to be another connection that's coming along. And you guys have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. So you have the King and Queen of one tarot suit so this makes me think of a strong connection um for some of you guys you could be in a strong connection already and that will continue to go well but i feel like a lot of people here are single or you're waiting on communications you're trying to find your equal match your better half or whatever you want to say to describe that um i feel like regardless if you're like you know your girl guy however you identify there is a match that's coming through for you guys that is better. Whether you're the king or the queen, there's someone here who's going to match your energy and be equal with you. Um, it is really weird though, because with the seven of swords, I don't think this is the person coming in the future. Um, I think that in the past, maybe this is something that you're trying to move away from. There was someone who either lied. I also can pick up cheated or was cheating on you in the past, not this new connection. Um, but this past connection, there was someone who was being nefarious or acting very shady, slimy. Um, I don't like this energy. Um, but I feel like this person 
kind of blocked you from being able to have this equal connection. But seeing as that has ended, like an ex situation or someone, even if you weren't in a like full fledged relationship with them, you were trying to pursue this to build it up to that point, that energy is clearing out and that's ending. Um, maybe that's part of what the death card's describing. That's ending and completing. You're overcoming any issues you had with that. And you're going to be moving into something more equal. You're going to be receiving love and romance in a way that's more beneficial to you. Like if you're on a um, like a downward trajectory, like you had difficult experiences in love um, or romance, especially with like communication or things being fair toward you, this is changing because of these last two cards on the end. They're talking about energies equalizing and even... With the heart you chose, Lapis Lazuli, that talks about communication improving, um, has to do with the throat chakra. So I feel like there's going to be an equal match. So I'm going to put down my next set of cards and see what else is coming through. Okay, with these cards here, we have Kuan Yin, Compassion, we have Engineer, and Hedonist. So what I'm seeing here is I feel like with the past card, the Seven of Swords, I pulled an extra card for you guys here. With the other groups, I only pulled um, one archetype card, but here I'm sensing multiple parties where it's important to pull another card. So I feel like this past energy that you were dealing with was represented by the engineer, someone who was kind of logical, but they were logical in a way that was manipulative. They didn't have compassion towards you. They didn't respect you. They could have just done things to get what they want from you. They didn't respect you. They weren't an equal for you. But this next person moving in is represented by the hedonist. They are someone who they do pursue things with their own pleasure in mind, but they're also including you. Like they want you to have pleasure. They want you to have joy in the relationship. Like they're going to include you when they're seeking joy. They're not just going to be like, hey, I want to enjoy everything by myself. What's in it for me? Like that's the past energy with the engineer, but this new person coming in is trying to include you. They're trying to be compassionate towards you. Um, like I said, like regardless if you're a girl, your guy, this person's going to be your king or queen, mirroring your energy back. They do respect you. They want to include you. I also think with this new person coming in, um, with Quan Yin, this is talking about a relationship where this person has consciousness and they think about you a lot. So let's say this person is, it's after their work, right? They go pick up dinner. Maybe this past person, they would just pick up dinner for themselves and they wouldn't consider you, even though they know when they went back to your place, you're going to be there. This next person, this new person, they're going to buy you food as well. They're going to think about you and be respectful about you. They don't have to be asked to do something. They're going to think, okay, like I'm going to pick myself up food, but oh wait, um, my partner's at home. I'm going to get them something too. Like they're very considerate and they don't need to be asked to do something because they want to be happy and they want that same happiness for you. This person's not acting out of insecurity. They're acting out of a place of abundance. They know if they give to you, they'll receive back and, you know, back and forth, vice versa. This other person, that energy and love you're leaving behind is manipulative people or a person who only wants their own pleasure. They only want to give things for themselves and they were very smart and calculated about it, but you're going to be moving in, not moving in, um, you're going to be moving towards this person who's a lot better and more compatible energetically with you. So I'm going to put down my last set of cards and see what else wants to come through. Okay, with these cards here, we have the Empress. Six of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, and New Love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So yeah, this person coming in is someone new. You either are just starting to know them or you haven't met them yet. But this new love will be worth it. Something that doesn't have ties to the past. Um, you know, no old news. This is something new and fresh. And I like seeing that in these type of readings because like sometimes these ex people, not all of them are bad, but you know, sometimes you're moving past these connections and that energy keeps coming up like, oh, 
the ex is returning, the ex is returning. Like, no, this is fresh and new. You're leaving those old people behind. And this is a new person who's going to be worth it a lot better. Um, you have the empress appearing. So this is like abundance and love, um, being more fulfilled in love because this person's actually respecting you and your needs. Um, and we even see that here too with the six of pentacles, someone being generous to you, someone considering you. They don't have to be asked to care about you. They just do. Um, I do see here though, with the eight of swords, you could have some insecurity with this new connection because of your past love relationships, like dealing with that person or people who were like the engineer, calculated, manipulative, and they could have been like very smart with it. So it's like, even if you were someone who's discerning or you're looking out for issues, they could have easily like tricked anyone because of how calculated they were. That's going to give you some issues with this relationship, not because this new relationship is bad, but because you could have trust issues you have to work past because now it's like this person's actually considering you. They're being generous to you. And now it's like, you're like, okay, can I trust this? <laughs> is this going to switch up on me? Like, is it going to continue to be good? So I would say enjoy this relationship. Try not to let your insecurities hold you back. Um, try to trust this person coming in that they're going to be um, considering you. And I feel like one way you can tell this person, like if you're seeing multiple people, one way you can tell that this new person is truly like a... Like, this is the connection for you. I feel like you can tell if this person's very considerate. Um, they're checking on you, not in a controlling way, but like they're checking you. They're making sure you're okay. Um, they're trying to communicate with you more. I feel like you're going to be able to tell like intuitively as you're looking out for the signs as you're dating different people, you're seeing different people, you're going to know this person's the one because of the way they act. It's just, it's just going to click. But like I said, don't let this past relationship traumas hold you back from this new connection coming in because I think it's going to be great. So that was your reading group number two. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. If you did like it, consider liking the video and subscribing if you haven't yet or turning on the notification bell so you don't miss any future readings like this. I hope you guys have a great day and I hope to see you guys in the next reading. Bye. Hello, group number three. Welcome to your reading. With your cards here, we have strength, the lovers, the star, the world, and the devil. So you guys have all major arcana. So I feel like this is something that's going to be bigger coming for you in love. So there's a couple messages here. So if you are someone who's in a long-term relationship, I feel like there's a strengthening of the relationship, either leading to a childbirth, leading to marriage, and then this sets up the stage for you guys to have a really happy future together. Like everything is solidifying and coming together in a long-term relationship beautifully. But for others of you, if you are kind of giving up on love, this is saying have faith in love. Believe in love. Believe you can have a true connection. You can have true love. You can have something that's going to stand the test of time. With strength in the lovers, I'm picking up on a timeless love. Something here, it's like you're going to have a love other people wish they had. Um, or it makes people think of like a power couple, like two people who seem really cool and successful independently, but when they're together, it just like, it triples, it doubles their success and makes it something really magical. And, you know, people are impressed by that. But I feel like you guys need to have faith and love and persevere because there is a really strong connection coming through. So if you don't have that long-term connection I just mentioned, um, for people who have a different message, this could be a connection that leads to something like that, having that long-term connection that eventually leads to marriage, kids if you want, or, you know, traveling the world, whatever your goal for your relationship is. I feel like you guys will have that relationship that's going to be very solidified after a certain point and you guys are just going to know that you're right for each other. Like, this is a, like... This is someone I could even see too being like a soulmate, um, a twin flame type of connection where you and this person are, you're really on the same path. You're on the same level. Um, you connect very easily and well. And this is a relationship that will make you forget about your past connections because we have the devil 
This makes me think of past ties that are holding you back, old connections. So if any of you have been through a divorce, like breaking the chains of that old connection that you used to be so intertwined in, um, breaking up of a relationship with an ex, this new relationship there's or this new person coming in if you're single, this person's going to make you forget those relationships even existed. Because like I said, there's a love of a lifetime here with all these major arcana appearing and like the star, the world, like having a relationship other people, um, they want. Like you could be known for your relationship and how good it is and how fulfilling it is, but you have to have faith in love if you're single and you've dealt with a lot of difficult people or situations in love because this relationship is saying, this is around the corner for you, wait for this. Don't give up because there is love for you. And if you're already in a relationship, there is a strong strengthening here where you guys are going to be able to have a clear path forward and build your life together. And it's going to be something other people envy or wish they had. Like you guys will be the people where like they're married for like 50 years and like people can't even believe how long your relationship has lasted because you know, I mean, that's like a lifetime and a lot of people don't have relationships that last that long, but I'm picking this up here, like a long time relationship, a true love. So I'm going to put down my next set of cards and see what else is going to come out. Okay, here we have Mama Kila, the moon, and Messiah. So what I'm seeing here um, with the goddess card here, this makes me think of divine timing, like cycles, because this card talks about the moon cycles, this goddess rules over that. So if you are disappointed, things aren't aligning for you, like you're disappointed in love, you want a relationship and you're kind of frustrated that you're in a cycle where this isn't happening. This is saying to accept things as they are, focus on yourself now and improve what is in front of you. Don't feel the need to rush into a relationships to make this timeless love, this really great love happen. Accept yourself as you are, accept the cycle you're in because everything will change. Nothing in life will stay the same forever. It's going, going to change. Change is the only thing that is certain in life. So this cycle, I feel like you're in a cycle where like, you know, love isn't that great. You're frustrated. You're like, what is going on? But there is going to be a cycle when you meet this timeless love where, you're, where your love life is on an upward swing. It's in that good cycle where things are flourishing. Things are doing well. But you can't rush this. Accept things as they are because this cycle is going to eventually come. Like, don't wish away your life waiting for the next good thing. Like, enjoy your life no matter the cycle because it will eventually come to you. It's eventually going to be spring again. Things are going to eventually bloom. You can't wish away your time waiting for this thing to happen if it hasn't. Or being so depressed or sad you're not enjoying yourself. You're stressing yourself out. I feel like this person's going to come at the right time in your life, the right cycle. And it, like I said, like I'm picking up on a really strong love connection, like someone you're going to be with for quite a long time, not something fleeting or not just like a hookup type of thing. Like I feel like this is a, a really strong connection coming through. And with the Messiah, I feel like this person's represented by this card. So this is someone like, it kind of feels like a divine blessing in your life, like I feel like this person, they really complete you. They make you feel connected, like not just in a romantic type of sense. It's like mentally, spiritually, physically, like this person's really gonna align with you in a way that it feels like this is your divine counterpart. Like I said, soulmate, twin flame, like that level of this person like, you can't really imagine your life without them because of how much they're going to be providing to you. Not, like, materially, but, like, in every level of the connection. Like, your minds, you're thinking the same. Or if you don't think the same, like, you're able to learn from each other and grow in a way that is healthy. Um, you meet each other's needs physically. You understand each other. Like, there's not really negative things I'm feeling in this connection. This person is someone you're going to look up to. If anything, I feel like um, it might be hard for you not to idealize this person because of how great they're going to be in your relationship. Like, um, but like, it's not just like, okay, you're falling in love with the idea of this person. This person's really bringing to you a lot of things you 
wished for in a partner or you wanted before but you didn't get from those past connections this person is going to be delivering on a lot of things so like i said it feels like okay this is a miracle or, or a divine blessing you're able to be with this person and that's also why i'm picking up the cycles divine timing you're going to meet your divine counterpart in divine timing the right place the right time don't worry about it don't focus on this downward cycle this is all working out as is and when you meet this person they're going to exceed your expectations they're going to be more than you imagined this is going to be something very fulfilling for you to meet this person and they think the same about you as well so i'm going to put down my last set of cards for you guys and get final messages okay with these cards we have the three of pentacles the nine of wands queen of cups and release your ex the time has come to clear your energy so what i feel here is that this is definitely someone you don't know. And like I said, like with release your ex, this is making me think of like, you're not even going to remember your past relationships once you're in this relationship with this new person because they're that much better. Like you can't even remember the other people or like you don't even want to remember them because of like how transformative this new person will be or this person coming in. It's going to be like a 180 from previous relationships. It defies your expectations but i will say here i think it's possible you haven't met this person yet because with the three of pentacles and the nine of wands this makes me think of having to work on some defensiveness you may have in romantic relationships um this makes me think of you could have a defense mechanism in relationships that are going to go a certain way where it's like if you feel emotionally comfortable or stable Maybe some of you guys want to leave the relationship, not because there's anything wrong, but maybe you feel like this is like too safe, it's too comfortable because maybe like from a previous relationship or even growing up your life in general, maybe you had a lot of chaos or trauma. So when you're met with a comfortable situation, it feels weird. Like it's hard for you to accept because you're not used to something being common. This could be some type of response to trauma a coping mechanism a defense mechanism that you have to work on so when you do meet this person you won't sabotage the relationship because you might be thinking oh this is so so good this is going so well this is this is defying my expectations i can't believe it like you know it's so good but if you have that defense mechanism still when you meet this person it could ruin that timeless love because you might not be able to accept it so this is saying take time now when the cycle you know you haven't met this person yet um take the time now to work on those issues if you have them so you can fully accept this love and it can complete your life and add so much more to your life but i do think this person too they're going to recognize you and make you feel emotionally fulfilled they're going to make you feel like seen but you're not going to be seen in a way that's going to make you feel like uncomfortable like they're going to see you truly as you are but that was your reading group number three. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. If you did like it, consider liking the video and subscribing if you haven't yet or turning on the notification bell so you don't miss future readings like this. As always, I thank you guys for watching and hope you have a great day. Bye.